Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 13 onto Redmi Note 10 Pro and Note 10 Pro Max. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you have to download Android SDK platform tools. You could do so from my guide. This is the link. So get it from here and extract them onto your PC. As you could see, these are the files of the platform tools in my case. Simply extract them. So just a minute. And these are the files of the platform tools folder. You could extract them anywhere you want on your PC. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, you have to go to settings menu. From there, you have to go to about phone. Then go to detailed info and specs and now you have to tap on MIUI version 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, again go back, then go to additional settings and from here you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone, check mark I am aware of all the risks and then you will have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed just tap on ok and after this you might get an rc key prompt as well so make sure to tap on ok once again and with this we have enabled usb debugging let's verify the same so go to platform tools folder address bar type in cmd and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform tools now type in adb devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then unplug and replug your phone from the pc Disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the boot today on your phone. For that, you will have to use the official me unlock tool. I have made a separate guide and the video on the same. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. Moving on, once that is done, you will now have to download the ROM and recovery file. You could get them from this link. This is the official ROM and the official link. So simply go to the Pixel Experience ROM page and get the ROM and recovery file for your phone. The ROM file will be in the zip format, whereas the recovery in, will be in the IMG format. Once you have got both this file, Simply copy them and paste them in the platform tools folder on your PC. So transfer both this file and once you have done so, let's rename the file as well. So for the ROM file, just rename it to ROM so that the complete name becomes ROM.zip and for the recovery, let's just rename it to recovery and the complete name becomes recovery.img. We are doing so just so that it becomes easier to type in the CMD window. Anyways, the ROM is the ROM.zip. And the recovery is in the recovery.img and both these files are there inside the platform tools folder. So once that is done, your next course of action is to boot your phone to fast boot mode. For that, just open CMD window and type in ADB, reboot, bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now boot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for a few more seconds and you should now see a fast boot keyword on the screen. So as you could see, our phone is now in the fast boot mode. Let's verify the same. So type in fastboot devices and hit enter. Make sure that you are getting the serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers. I have made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide and install the drivers. Once that is done, use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signifies that your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and you are now good to go ahead. So next up, we'll now have to flash the recovery file onto our phone. As you might be aware, our phone has a recovery partition. So we could now simply flash the recovery file to the recovery partition. Since we have already renamed the file to recovery and it's there in the platform tools folder, you could simply copy paste this command and copy the command and paste it in the CMD window. So let's just do that as well. So select the entire command or you could manually type in as well. 
in my case i am simply pasting the command and hit enter and it will now flash the pixel recovery to the recovery partition onto our phone and will only take a couple of seconds so let's just wait once that is done you will now have to boot your phone to the recovery mode which in our case is the pixel experience recovery so type in fast boot reboot recovery and hit enter i have given this command in my guide as well you you could copy the command from my guide as well so with this our phone should not boot into the pixel experience recovery so as you could see that is the case so as of now you have to use the volume keys to navigate the recovery so okay so the volume so the touch is also working but still if you want you may use the volume keys as instructed below but for now the touch is also working that's well and good so we'll be using the touch method for the, so regarding this your first course of action is to do a format data do note that this will wipe off all the, the data from your phone so if that's well and good go to factory reset then select format data factory reset and again select format data this will remove all the data and once that is done you will get a data wipe complete message at the bottom left once you get that message go back and come to the home screen of the recovery once that is done we could now proceed ahead and flash the rom for flashing the rom we have to use the adb side load method so simply select apply update then choose apply from adb and with this your phone is now in the adb side load mode let's now verify the same so type in adb devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting the side load keyword once you are getting this keyword you could now side load the rom file just make sure that the name of the file is rom.zip and is there inside the platform to folder once you have check marked this requirement just type in adb side load and the name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter the side loading of the rom file will now begin and it could take up to around 5 to 6 minutes so let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll be back so guys the flashing of the rom is now complete in the cmd window the progress bar might get stuck at 47% which is just a ui bug and nothing to worry about on your phone you will get an install complete with status 0 this signifies that the flashing is now complete and likewise you will also get a total transfer message on your cmd window once that is done you could now simply reboot your phone to the os so just tap on reboot system now and the phone should now boot to the newly flashed os so let's just wait for the boot animation to show up and this will then verify that the flashing has gone successfully and we could then boot so as you could see this is the boot animation for the pixel experience rom so regarding this let me tell you one thing the rom comes inbuilt with the google app packages and framework but even then there are two versions of this rom one is the experience normal version and the next one is the experience plus in the experience plus version there are a couple of more google app packages and framework and in that version it might take a little bit longer for the first time usage from the subsequent time it will not take that longer so as of now i have flashed the experience plus version so it will load all the google app packages and framework so that might take some additional delay so let me show you once what i mean as well so once you go to the download page for instance let me go to the note 10 pro pixel experience download page so from here you could get you could get both the version the normal and the plus the plus is a little bit heavier than the normal one because it has a couple of additional files as well so anyways as you could see our phone has booted to the os so as of now i'll skip the initial setup screen and take you to the os and i'm setting my phone offline as well for now so let's just accept the terms and condition and skip the rest of the stuffs and we should not be taken to the os in a matter of few seconds So with this we are in the Pixel Experience ROM based on the latest Android 13 as you could see from here this is the app drawer this is the QS tiles and this is the settings menu and the wallpaper and styles so this is the most fluid snappy and fast ROM without any major bugs and issues so if you are look, looking to try out a ROM on your main device then you you could either try Lineage OS or the Pixel ROM as of now I usually try out the pixel rom because i want at least a few few features so that is why i usually opt for the pixel rom which has all the features that you get in the original pixel ui
and you could change a few tweaks from here while you you won't be getting all the customization option as you get in the CR Dwyer or other ROMs but it is a clean stock UI with just the required features and no additional blot wares. So guys with that in mind I round off this video. If you have any queries with regard to any of these steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.